Welcome back. We are on the final video, number five of the five video um, sequence. So if you have not viewed the other four videos, please go back and um, take a listen because there is really good information. Um, I think that will help you as you are trying to find a um, tongue thrust practitioner. I am Callie Stone. I am with the STTP Training Center, and we are here to change the face of tongue thrust. So um, hopefully you've gotten some information that will help you choose a practitioner um, in, the, in this video series. And uh, number five question to ask your um, potential practitioner is, how much time will I be expected to commit to my tongue thrust treatment? And as we talked about um, in the earlier questions, um, initially, you, um, you may get some different responses on this, uh, depending on the approach that that potential practitioner is taking. I can tell you that with the Stone Tongue Thrust Protocol, the STTP, that um, because it does eliminate the um, tongue thrust through education and awareness, as well as oral motor exercises and swallow retraining, um, you can expect an intensive program, especially for the first four to six weeks. And then um, you will be required to practice three times a day, every single day. Um, but that practice is about, it's, it's usually less than 10 minutes. And so it's very quick, um, but it is important that you are very committed to the program during that um, initial period well, throughout the entire program, but especially in that establishment phase. Um, when you come in for your therapy sessions, your ses your, um, you'll be accountable to your practitioner as to that exercise program, and then they will um, move that program forward very quickly um, through this, the tongue thrust protocol to um, be able to advance your skills. So, um, most sessions are about an average of 45 minutes, but it does depend on your practitioner and the way they have their clinic set up. But that's a, a common rule of thumb. As a consumer of tongue thrust, um, I hope that you have recognized that this is just like shopping for any other service that you're getting and you want to understand and know and I think especially because not everybody is aware of the the perceptions <laughs> around tongue thrust for lack of a better there's just a lot of misunderstanding and so to remind you that the debunking the myths course is through the STTP Training Center, and that course is really designed for you. It is a public course that's free of cost, but it does help you understand the dilemmas that are going on in the tongue thrust treatment realm and why there's so many myths and, and bad reputation out there. So it's important that you are an educated consumer, and I think if you go in asking and understanding these questions that we've discussed in this video series, you will have an exceptional experience with tongue thrust and you will find that it was the easiest and most cost effective therapy out there. So it is, especially if you're investing thousands and thousands of dollars in orthodontia because of a tongue thrust, most tongue thrusters end up in some sort of orthodontia and that's where a lot of our referrals come from is from that orthodontic realm. And so uh, it's usually because there has been a lot of frustration. They have had their orthodontic um, appliances and their program, and they've gone through everything exactly how they were supposed to, and then their teeth drift right back to where they started because they didn't address the underlying tongue thrust. So that's the most common. There's also the TMJ issues. There's also the dysphagia or swallowing disorders. Um, all of those things can happen as you get older and um, progress without remediating that tongue thrust. But for you to be an educated consumer is just so important, and I hope that you will use the Stone Tongue Thrust Protocol as a resource to be able to get that education and awareness so that you can find a qualified provider for you. There's a lot of frustration, and it's just unnecessary. We don't need to, we, we want to change the face of tongue thrust. We want it to be a positive, permanent experience, not a frustrating 
experience. And um, you can find us at the stone tongue thrust protocol.com. That is the main website on that website. You can find um, the blogs and information for both professionals and for consumers. And then you can also find the STTP training center. Many of those courses are for professionals, but there are, uh, like I mentioned, the debunking the myths course is a, a course for the public. And you can find that in the training center. And then the STTP certified practitioner registry is also on that website. So if you're looking for a practitioner and you're not sure where to start, start with us because we have certified clinicians who have specialized in tongue thrust. These clinicians, we are very confident in referring to you because they, we know that they have taken the time to educate themselves and extend their skills and demonstrate clinical competence in both identifying, assessing, diagnosing, and treating tongue thrust. And so we're very confident in their clinical skills and their ability to understand how to appropriately use the protocol and um, best serve you. So don't hesitate to use us as a resource. That's why it's there, so that you can identify those STTP certified professionals. And some of them, as I mentioned, are dental professionals, and some of them are speech language pathologists, um, and some sort, uh, specialize in oral myology. But they still are all, um, they're all STTP certified practitioners. And that's hopefully what you're looking for, because we know that they have that specialization, and that it is clinically competent, and they've demonstrated that skill. So come and check us out. Use us as a resource and have a fantastic experience as a tongue thrust um, consumer remediating that tongue thrust. We hope to see you online.